It's Plex T. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you. You folks, you, 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 about commitment and failure. These two, um, two, yeah, I was putting the wrong fucking fingers, my dumbass. These two, there we go, Plex, is important. It's like both of them fits together. And what commitment is, is the will, like, when you say, you, if, when you say you want to do something, you have to do it. And it follows through discipline. If you don't feel like... If you don't feel like doing anything, just do it. And you know, Shia LaBeouf, hashtag Shia LaBeouf, because that guy, that guy is great. But yeah, those two fall together. So I guess I'm going to talk, talk to you about more of uh, self-discipline, um, commitment, and failure. So those three, those three add like falls together. So I just like I just wanted to like talk about it so we could all come of an understanding. Because basically, let me tell you a secret real quick. I still go through those things. I still go through like feeling failure, like. Uh, making videos and like thinking that it's shitty or thinking that um, I'm not trying the best of my abilities because I know I could do better but I just don't try like when I see like an opportunity open up for me to like try I don't really try to express new things so that like that's that that, that failure to me it's like I still it still affects me to this day so we just to let you know you're not the only one that's going through this everybody like I think everybody in like Probably the whole universe or everybody in general do not want to fail at life. That's, they don't want to fail at life. But I'm going to teach you a few keys or a few things that will help you like, you know, give you that boost or that drive and that helps you through like life or basically what you're going to motivate you. Yeah. So let's do it. So the first thing I want to talk about is commitment. Now commitment is basically where you say you want to do something and then you follow up with what you say. So basically, let's see. For example, that um, I I'm going to I'm going to exercise. This is you. This is you saying it. I'm going to exercise every day, and I'm going to be fit. Now you have to make that happen. You have to be committed to make that happen. Um, you have to be like on it, on it as possible. Being committed, like once you once you basically once you say something, you gotta do it. Once you like say, oh, I'm, I'm going to stop this addiction, you gotta do it. You have to be committed. You gotta be serious about it. So once you like that's once you like serious about it, then you then you like keep on going, keep on going, and that's where self discipline comes through. Because once you keep on going and trying to fight through like trying to be fit or trying to beat an addiction, uh, you have to like there's going to be times where you just want to give up. There's going to be times where um, you're going to like basically fall down, like you freaking did your addiction, or that you ate like you kept on not eating unhealthy trying to uh, stop going to the gym and that feeling will freaking kill you and that feeling will just destroy your motive and basically destroy your commitment because you feel like you failed or you feel like uh because you failed you shouldn't keep going because it's good you think it's going to lead to failure so what i think is that um so for self-discipline you just once you start like once you like once you like did your addiction or fall off track then um, self-discipline actually helps because it uh, basically since you don't feel like doing anything you're gonna have to force yourself to get up and what I mean is that when you like laying in your bed ah oh, man another day I just did my addiction I'm not even gonna go to the gym man I don't even feel like doing anything at all I know I have things to do but it's just that my body is not really just getting up my mind is thinking that oh yeah you have things to do you should get up on my body it's like a freaking it's like the force is just pushing not making me get up i don't feel like doing anything so it's like that that is like basically what you go through like once you don't feel like doing anything it's like your mind tells you that you have to do something but your body is doing like it's doing the opposite basically just standing there being like like it, all feelings is just down but the only feeling that is um that is active is worthlessness and because of the worthlessness you don't feel like doing anything because you think the other stuff that you're supposed to do is worthless to you because you know exercising you not you stopping because you it doesn't if you it feels like it doesn't benefit you uh it doesn't benefit you enough it feels like well it once it once did benefit you but now because of this feeling of worthlessness, it stopped benefiting you. But let me tell you something, it didn't stop benefiting you. You just stopped doing what you was uh, committed to do. And because of that, 
you feel like it doesn't benefit you. That's where failure comes to place because because of those two things stopped. Damn it, I keep put two, two, there we go, Plex. Because of those two things stopped, now you're in the risk of failure because you stop your motive. You basically stop being committed and because you stop being committed, you have this feeling of worthlessness and because of the feeling of worthlessness, um, you don't really, don't want to do anything uh, anymore. And because you don't want to do anything anymore, you stop doing the things that you need to do. And because you stop doing the things that you need to do, it brings you down to a path of failure. And now you have um, this choice. Yeah, self-discipline will help you. It's like, that's, about, that's because why it's in the middle of commitment and failure. Because that will bring you uh, like two paths in life. So basically... Um, commitment is what you uh, what like what you started to do, what you like, what you wanted to do, and you kept going with it. And but uh, self um, self uh, discipline gives you two paths. You can either go down to the path of failure, or you can just go down, go up to the path of finding yourself and just ignoring this freaking worthless uh, feeling and just go keep on going up and keep on being committed. So it's like a cycle. So. Commitment, and then two paths. You can either go, you can either let the worthlessness um, get into you, or you can let you can ignore worthlessness and keep on being active on the things that you do. Because feelings, feelings sometimes feelings have a positive, positive and negative. Some of the positive feelings will get you active. Some of the negative feelings will just get you down. So you need to ignore the freaking freaking negative feelings and go to the positive feelings. So ignore worthlessness, ignore depression, ignore anxiety, ignore anything that's negative that has like a negative feeling or a negative impact to you, and go through like go f just feel the positive, positive, and ignore the negative. So and because of that, it will give you a drive to towards um a good path. So that's really what I like wanted to talk about. It's because. Now, those things right there could destroy your path to success. It could destroy your path to dreams. And I just wanted to teach you that because it's really it's really a hard thing to do. I still suffer from that. I still suffer from that. Then again, I still suffer from that. I still like wake up and then I feel like, man, my videos is shitty. My videos, I don't even know why I'm doing YouTube anymore. My videos is shitty. My videos is crap. Um, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? Yeah, I still have those feelings. I still wake up feeling worthless. But I still ignore it. Sometimes I freaking push myself to ignore the feelings and push myself to still make a video. Because I, w I don't want this feeling, this feeling of worthlessness to intertwine with my life. So I push myself to the limit so my path in life could be good instead of rolling down to the path of darkness. Whew. But damn. That is what I want to talk about. But anyway. This is your boy Plexity. And also one more thing. Bonus, bonus, bonus. Do not follow, do not uh, feel bad intentions. I mean, bad intentions. Meaning that if something feels good, basically ignore it. Because the things that, uh, mostly the things that feels good to you is actually something bad, like a, like a drug or addiction or something. Um, those things, bad intentions, will feel as fucking bad, basically. And those bad intentions will bring you down. Because bad intentions has a good feeling, though. But it's this thing that you do that makes it bad. So just ignore something that feels good. And some mostly it's the bad things that you don't want to do. It's actually the things that you do. The things that is good for you. So that's that actually, that actually falls down to self-discipline. So yeah. <laughs> but anyway, this is Plexity. If you like that video, smash that like button to a million pieces. Always looking at the camera like I always looking at the camera like this way because the, the phone screen is right here. And the camera is right here, so I'm always looking at the screen instead of the camera, my dumbass. I wish I had like a camera lens on the thing, because that would be easier to look at. But anyway, this is Plexity. If you like the video, smash the like button to a million pieces. This is Plexity. I'm out. Peace.